AI reasoning, it's the new frontier, the next supposed leap towards super intelligence. Forget chatbots that just answer questions in a black box. Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explore some of the hype around artificial intelligence. AI is a very broad term that's used to apply to large language models that most of us use today in things like chatbots like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, and Google Gemini. However, there is much more to this than just getting a quick answer based on millions of existing websites of sample data. Or is there? So-called AI tech leaders and I think of them more as influencers, like NVIDIA's Jensen Wong and Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and Tesla's Elon Musk, and the biggest hyper of them all, Sam Altman from OpenAI, that's the company behind ChatGPT, claim that the next generation of AI, which we really have today, is called reasoning. And it takes us, they claim it takes us a giant leap towards superhuman intelligence, or at least artificial general intelligence, which is the ability of a machine to be, you know, roughly as capable as a human, as far as reasoning goes. However, all of those players have an enormous stake in keeping the AI hype train going at full speed. There are now dozens of reliable research papers from real organizations and companies showing that even the next generation of AI tools are really just doing what the old ones did, but in a prettier way. The idea is that instead of just giving you a quick answer, they break the question into little chunks, check each part of it, then they assemble an answer, and then they go back and verify that their response is consistent. So to explain this a little better, let's take a look at a recent clip from a CNBC report, which I think we can all agree is a pretty reliable source. These models, they think, they show their work, they break problems into steps, and that's a shift from predicting words to planning actions. The reason it's hard for GPT-40 is it has to get it correct on the first try. It can't check that it meets the constraints and then revise the poem. Now let's try the same poem with O1 Preview. And we'll see that differing from GPT-40, O1 Preview starts thinking before giving the final answer. The idea is that the more it thinks, the smarter it gets, just like a human. We know that thinking is oftentimes more than just one shot. And thinking requires us to maybe do multi-plans, multiple potential answers that we choose the best one from, just like when we're thinking. We might reflect on the answer before we deliver the answer. Reflection. We might take a problem and break it down into step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. Chain of thought. OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, DeepSeek, they all jumped on this trend. Model after model, drop after drop, each claiming exceptional reasoning capabilities, each promising to be the most powerful yet. Except a string of research papers is calling that promise into question. The highest profile from a team at Apple bluntly titled The Illusion of Thinking, it concludes that once problems get hard enough, reasoning models, they stop working. Let's break it down with a logic puzzle, as Apple does. The Towers of Hanoi, three rods, a stack of disks. The goal is to move all the disks to another rod, big on bottom, small on top, in the fewest possible moves. It's something you might give a toddler to build cognitive skills, but it's also a stress test for reasoning. In the simplest version of the game, just three disks, Anthropic's model performed the same with or without reasoning. Add a few more disks, reasoning outperforms, but then comes the twist. After seven disks, performance collapses to zero accuracy. And not just for Anthropic's model, but for DeepSeek's and OpenAI's as well. The harder the task was supposed to get, the worse the models performed. Same thing happened with other puzzles. Checkers, river crossing problems. These are basic logic games. So what's the real takeaway here? Well, these models, they look like they're thinking, but what they actually may be doing is pattern matching. When the puzzle is familiar, when it's something that they've seen in training, they do fine, but throw them something new, complex, untested, they fail. What looks like intelligence might just be memorization at scale. So the idea here isn't that AI chatbots and graphic creators and other generative tools aren't wonderful and don't do a great job, but they don't do all that they claim and they're not intelligent. In addition to being unable to extrapolate what they've learned to 
something they haven't seen in the past, they are completely unaware of why they're doing things. This is a fundamental requirement of intelligence. Your calculator can do things your brain just can't, but that doesn't make it intelligent. And so the point we're trying to make is to be very careful when listening to the hype around AI, and in particular now, AI reasoning. So hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.uartech.ca. And tell us what you think at the bottom. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.